What's going on guys, FJ Eric here, and I have tried my best to piece together a budget ultralight backpacking setup. I know those two things never go together in the same sentence, but I think I've done a pretty good job on that. So I've got a list right here uh, that I'm going to be going over everything that I had bought for my trip out to Reno and Yosemite. So if you want to check out that video, I will leave that link in the description, um, along with everything that I have purchased off of Amazon. There's only a handful of stuff that I either had already or found somewhere cheaper like Walmart or something like that. But I'll also have the weights and price uh, somewhere popping up as we go along with it. And I'm going to be doing this gear list in the order that I'll pack everything so you kind of get more of an idea of what the gear is and then why I'm putting it in the bag like I am. But I do have a lot to cover, so let's go ahead and get started. First things first is going to be the ultralight backpack. This is a roll top bag. Just going to roll down just like so and then clip at the top. And I had to try to compete with something like the Waymark uh, Evolve. I think that one runs 225 roughly. And so I wanted something similar to that setup. So the roll top, uh, you've got the pouch right in the front right here, the two water bottle pockets. This thing does come with a frame um, somewhat and I just ended up taking it out. Wasn't a fan of it. But on the inside, you've got a little pocket right there behind your back. Other than that, I mean, it is just very, very simple. Two things that I did really like just right off the bat were how big the waist pockets were. You also have these shoulder strap compartments, uh, which I thought were really cool. But tons of straps to adjust. But like I said, had to find something to compete with that. I was coming from a big 65 liter bag that I actually also bought on Amazon a while back. And I mean, it lasted a few trips, but it seemed like every single time either a strap would break, a buckle, um, a zipper, I mean the it just wasn't wasn't really what I needed you know. Next up is gonna be the sleeping pad uh, this is actually one of the more expensive uh, things on this list uh, I've actually had it for a pretty good while now it's REI brand and I wanna say the R rating is a five or six instead of rolling it I always fold it down uh, to its square and that is what I'll slide right behind my back and use that for a pad. So the next thing that's gonna go in the very bottom is this 15 degree quilt that I've had um, off Amazon. And I've even done a full review on this thing um, that I'll put in the description versus why I like the quilt a lot better than a sleeping bag. I actually packed down a little bit smaller. But yeah, so I just slide that all the way in. And then right beside that is gonna be the cookware. Uh, now, I took this whole thing with me just to try out because it was cheaper than Jet Bowl, but everything about it was so similar. I just really wanted to try everything um, that came with this little system. So you've got two separate bowls, one little one, one big one. Comes with a lid. Comes with the little uh, burner stand, like that. Also comes with a little grate to sit on top so you can use different size bowls. And then this is the actual part that clips on uh, to the bottom down here. So then this screws on here. And it's like a, a little cheap jet bowl system. Probably use it in the morning, but if I was actually backpacking through uh, some trail that was gonna be multiple days, I would not take this whole thing. I would take just this bottom portion and then also some type of propane. And you can get these in all different sizes. Uh, the one that I had on my trip was actually a little bit smaller because it actually fit in this bag. But you can get little burners like this little guy right here. This thing is tiny and then that screws on. And then you can just have any type of cup that will sit on top. So you can do it even lighter uh, than what I was doing. I really just wanted to test that out. It's a little bit cheaper than the Jet Bowl system. Worked just as fast and <laughs> for a spoon or a spork, uh, ended up getting this titanium one before I didn't have like a long spoon didn't even think there was any need for it uh, but then I found that out in Colorado when we were doing some backpacking meals and all I had was like a plastic fork uh, so that really helped out and sitting on top of that I usually have a dry bag full of all of my clothes and when I was on this trip I just had regular shorts regular t-shirt nothing special about it and I didn't realize how heavy they would be when I started packing them. So I ended up going to TJ Maxx and getting some dry fit clothes. I want to say I, ended, I think I got three shirts and two shorts 
uh, for like right at 20 bucks. And the weight difference on both of those really surprised me. Obviously regular shorts and t-shirt got really hot while you're hiking. And I'm just kind of learning as I go. Definitely something neat and to think about when you're packing your bag. And then sitting on top of the clothes is where I would have food if I was doing like a through hike. Um, I don't have anything with me right now to show you, but I do have some electronics is what I would be sitting on top of that because um, I wouldn't really need that until I started pulling everything else out. So this is going to be a power bank uh, that you can use for phone, camera batteries, camera lights, all of that jazz. Um, and I also keep it in, in a dry bag as well. And then for this trip, I actually had a day pack that I ended up getting that was a little bit more lightweight and smaller than my off spray bag. And I had this sitting on top of everything, but I would not take this every time, obviously. So sitting on the very top uh, is gonna be any type of winter jacket just to keep you warm at night when it does get a little cool. This I actually bought at REI on the clearance rack or second hand rack uh, garage sale. I can't remember what they call it. But ended up getting it pretty cheap. Uh, it was very lightweight, packs down and all of the tags on the inside and stuff are ripped out. So I have no information about this besides it's a, uh, it is down and it does have a hood. And I had bought a big down jacket and I have a review on it, but it just didn't pack as small. Um, and I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer um, out in Yosemite and then I was wrong. So my friend Dalen let me borrow one of his hoodies and then I was like, okay, yeah, I definitely need to get something lightweight and packable that will keep me warm at night. <laughs> so that's gonna be pretty much it for the main portion of the bag. And then once you roll that top down, then, then I'll be putting the tent on top. And this is a Marmot two-person bolt. I don't believe they even make this tent anymore. Um, I could not find it to have the link. I will have another Marmot two-person link, uh, but it will not be this exact one. Now this one is two pounds with the ultralight stakes. It's three um, with my heavy-duty stakes that I always use. So it's really not that heavy, and it's pretty small also, but it's very quick setup, and I just sit it right on top, use that last strap of the bag to clip it in, just to hold it there in place. And now working to the outside of the bag, you've got the uh, little zipper compartment, and that is where I will keep the first aid, which I think I got this at Walmart for like 10 bucks maybe. The bear bag uh, to keep your food in. Fill this thing up with rocks, uh, throw it over and you can hang it from a limb. And also dude wipes um, if you have to go to the bathroom. Speaking of bathroom, on the outside of that compartment, you've got the stretchable pocket and that is where I would keep the trowel or poop shovel. Um, doesn't weigh hardly anything. Also the ass pad that you can unfold and use that to sit down on if the ground's wet. And these on Amazon, you actually get two of these for like 10 bucks. So it is a steal. And then along with that pad is rain jacket that's easily accessible in case it does start raining on you. This is a frog togs that I got from Amazon. Very lightweight. I think it's just, I don't know, it's pretty cool how it's kind of like see-through. Um, but I have used it multiple times in the rain. I've been very happy with it. It is kind of warm. I wish it had like a zipper underneath the armpit, but can't complain when the price is so cheap. So that goes on the outside. And then now for the side pockets, which will be for water, yeah, which will be for the water filtration systems. And I've picked up a few of them <laughs> just to try out my favorite. And that is because it has a filter that is all the way down to the end and this cap that's on top is the exact same cap as a regular water bottle will have. So I always keep one of these, doesn't weigh anything, and I can just filter it over and then also keep this one. But I just thought that was super cool. Uh, you still have the wide mouth that you can get a good build of water in there. Go on the cap, and then this thing's full and good to drink. I think this one's gonna be the best one for me. Um, on my trip though, I ended up picking up this Life Straw and I was super stoked to use it. Nothing, nothing majorly wrong with it. I mean, it did filter water really well. Uh, and this inside is for either having a bottle or if you have a water pack, you can actually use it to filter. But 
even though I do use a water pack uh, often, I just, this is, I don't know, it was a lot heavier and just wasn't, wasn't really what I wanted, I guess. Needless to say. And I know there's a huge talk about the Sawyer, and there's one other one, I can't remember what the name of it is, um, that a lot of people use that's pretty similar to the Joy. I want to say it's probably twice as much. But the Sawyer, you know, you have to have a bag that goes with it. And um, I didn't have anything that fit besides the one that comes with this system. So that was kind of annoying to me. Not really a ton of weight, but just maybe more of an inconvenience. And you can basically just have two water bottles. This one's, this one turned out to be my favorite. Now while I was flying out there, I was wearing my North Face boots that I typically always have on. Um, and I'm not even sure they make these anymore either. But if I can find a link to their website, I will put it below. These were pretty lightweight, and I've used them for winter and summer, but for the hike that we ended up doing, I wore my Tevas a lot more, and believe it or not, the boots weigh less than the Tevas, and these even weigh less than the Chacos. If you've ever hiked in Chacos, they're just so heavy. Yeah, I don't know, they're very comfortable to me to hike in. The hikes weren't that extreme, um, so having the Tevas was definitely a plus, but on my fly out there, I had these in the side compartment, uh, was how I had them packed. Then on to the waist straps, which is where I'm going to keep my headlamp. And this little guy has, hmm, I don't know. So <laughs> it's very light. Uh, this is the first one I've had that doesn't have batteries. But I got it to do motion sensor when I first got it. And here's a clip of that. Look, it's like goes off. Okay, now it's back on. Wait, that's crazy. Is it, is it motion censored or is it just Wait, like that acting is so on? so crazy. I don't know. This is like exactly when you, you might, it might be a setting that it has. Like when you look at somebody, then it turns off. But I could never get it to do it again. So I don't know if I should have kept the instructions, most likely, uh, to kind of see how this thing worked. But the only downside is there is no red light to this one. Um, but very light, uh, was very happy with how bright it was. That was the only downside that I can think of. Again, in the waist strap, uh, I use a just a cheapo poncho just to throw over everything instead of having, even though I've got a rain jacket, uh, that bag did not come with like a little rain fly. So, I just got this little poncho to kind of cover everything and then you can also open this up, throw it down like a tarp to sit your bag on if the ground is wet. Um, that's just something I think I got at Walmart. And also some snacks uh, that I'll keep either in the waist strap. Uh, for me personally, it's going to be camera gear, whether that's batteries, um, mic, or external lights. And then in the shoulder straps uh, is where I'm going to keep hand sanitizer, bandana, sunglasses, maybe another snack or something. Uh, there's plenty of room for all of that. So this is what the final product looks like. Now it will be built up just a little bit more if you're carrying food uh, and also depending on how many days that's going to be. But everything that I just listed is packed inside of here. Uh, it's pretty small and pretty lightweight. Now price is going to vary. I added up everything that I had spent roughly and it's still under a thousand dollars for an ultralight setup which I think is still pretty good. Now a lot of that's gonna vary depending on what shoes, clothes, um, what even what gear you end up using because you may even buy the same stuff. You may pay a little bit more, you may pay a little bit less. If you can find it used, I say get it. Um, a lot of my stuff has been used except for the Amazon links that I've listed below. Like that jacket for instance, said at the REI garage used area or on eBay. eBay's got some great stuff, that's where I got the tent. Yeah, you may not even need to carry this much stuff. Um, this was just a general price and weight compared to a lot of stuff that I've seen online. So I hope that did help. And the great thing about backpacking or camping or anything like that is you can slowly build your setup. I mean, you don't have to go gung-ho right to the top just to get the best of everything. You know, something you can slowly build over time, use certain things, figure out what you like, what you don't like. Um, and I think that's really cool. So everything's pretty personalized. But with that being said, I will see you guys on the next trip. Peace.